Wind Waker has been playable on Dolphin for years now, and on Seamu it's pretty much perfect as well. And in this video I will show you how to enhance the GameCube version on Dolphin. Then I will compare it with the Wii U version running on Seamu emulator. That way we can determine which is best for the viewer. So let's get started. First, we'll download Hypatia's texture pack for Wind Waker. This will make the textures look stunning on Dolphin. I'm getting the full size version, but if you have less than 16 gigabytes of RAM, go for the half size instead. Once the archive is downloaded, extract the GZL folder to your desktop. This will contain all the textures we need. And with that done, go to Documents and put this folder into Dolphin's Textures folder. Just follow my example. After this, go into Dolphin and head over to the graphics setting. From there, click on the Advanced tab and enable Load Custom Textures. Now we will install the widescreen patch for Wind Waker. After double clicking on the script, wait for everything to load. Then simply confirm to continue. It's very simple. From there, you need to direct the patch to where you have Wind Waker installed. I have the ISO inside my Dolphin folder. When you click on the patch button, a duplicate ISO will be created inside Dolphin, but this duplicate is optimized for the widescreen aspect ratio. Start Dolphin again and head to the graphics settings. You will have to change the aspect ratio to 416 by 9. Incidentally, this is the newly created copy and here is the original. The next step is optional, but if you want to squeeze more graphics out of the game, enable FXAA here. This will make things a bit smoother than before. Okay, we have enhanced the textures, but now we can do the same for Wind Waker's lighting. And that's why we need reshade. Click on the download button. The archive is small in size, so it won't take long to finish. I copied the reshade program to my desktop. After double clicking the icon, it will start with the installer. It will scan my computer for relevant games, but Dolphin won't be in the list. So I have to point the program to where Dolphin's main folder is located. My Dolphin folder is on my C drive. Once inside, I will choose the executable and click on Open. From there, I click on Next. On Dolphin, my chosen renderer is Vulkan, so it should be the same on Reshade. Just click on Next to continue. From there you can proceed to activate all of the packages. Once you click on Next, the shaders will be downloaded to a subfolder inside Dolphin. With that complete, we can click on the Finish button. Finally, we can play Wind Waker for the first time. If you see rows of text at the top of your screen, it means that the reshade is installed properly. However, we still need to set it up for the game. So press the home key on your keyboard and click continue. After you click continue for the second time, you will find yourself in the shader select screen. I will just forward the game a bit so that we can start setting it up properly. After some experimentation, I found the best shader combination here. You don't have to follow my example, but in my opinion, they just fit Wind Waker's art style. Once you're satisfied, click on finish and head to the menu. Click on settings and create a shortcut for your effect toggle key. I personally prefer the scroll lock key on my keyboard. When you're done, exit the overlay by pressing home on your keyboard. By pressing the scroll lock key, the reshade will switch between on and off. Finally, we are finished with the Dolphin version. Everything's set up now for lovely graphics. But if you're curious about the Wii U version on Seamu, let's continue. My viewers are fairly knowledgeable, so they probably know that graphics are upscaled using graphic packs. And in the case of Wind Waker, I use the colorful preset for contrasty. I'm satisfied with 1080p resolution, but if you want, feel free to turn it higher. I put shadows at twice normal resolution. They just look a lot better this way. So let's do some fun comparisons between the two versions. The way I set up the game on Dolphin, it's clear that the graphics are more saturated, but in a good way. 
The Bloom is a bit stronger on CMU, but this is true for original hardware as well. There's probably a sizable number of people who don't much like it this way. Colors can look a bit muted because of the intense lighting. The Wii U version does have more dynamic shadows, however, and the Skybox does look more realistic as well. The upscaled textures on Dolphin compare well with those on the Wii U version. One thing I really like about the Wii U version is that there are no letterboxes during cutscenes. And I much preferred the color contrast on CMU. Despite this, there's a sort of whimsical charm to the original version, and some people may prefer it over the Wii U version. What about you? If you have a strong opinion, comment below to have your say. And if you found this video useful, remember to give a like. It really helps with the algorithm. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.